what's up YouTube it's the 6th of October not very windy today I wanted to take advantage of a bit of sunshine to so show you so you show you some close-ups of uh, the wind turbine explaining a few things for some of the new subscribers I've got it's only in 720 unfortunately so it isn't great the turbine is connected up to a speed controller You can hear, I do believe one of the bearings needs changing, which is a bit of a mission of a job, but shouldn't take that long. So let's do this. You can see the e-bike motor hub there. It's a 48 volt, one kilowatt hub, which was purchased from China. Now this view shows you pretty well, or it did. You can see the drive shaft running along the top which is connected to the frame by three pillow block bearings. Uh, the drive shaft has a 28 tooth sprocket, sorry I had to think there, which you can see there, which is going round, obviously. That connects to the front of the e-bike motor hub which you can see which has a 20 tooth sprocket which enables the motor to be driven at 1.4 times the speed of the blades this means effectively that we're taking speed out of the blades and putting it into the motor you can see on the left and the right of the motor is a kind of frame that I built so that I can adjust the motor up and down thereby tightening or loosening the chain. I do find it runs better with the chain slightly loose and that for some reason that seems to make it start up easier. One good thing about this which makes it very reliable is the fact that the motor is connected to the frame by both sides of the spindle which you can see you can see the brass nut you can see the gold nut on the left which holds the motor hub in if it comes back round it's getting windy yeah you can see the you saw the nut there I think and you can see at the back that is where the cable comes out of the electric bike hub motor and the cable goes down through the top of the tower which is here there you can see the rear the, the rear two bearings and that rusty drive shaft and there's the tail which is 100% homemade uh, and which needs painting. The tail's about two foot long, two and a half feet long and about uh, two feet high approximately. What else was it I wanted to show you? Uh, yes, the f you can see here that bolt on the left that allows, they allow the frame angle to be adjusted. You can see the angle there of about five degrees. If I wanted to I could loosen off the bolts and then make the angle higher uh, and then obviously re-tighten the bolts again. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that the hub motor itself is very hard to turn. To turn one of these motors you really need to put the spindle in a vise and hand crank it that way. Now this means it does need a certain amount of wind to even turn but on the good side it acts as an overspeed protection device because the blades themselves always have something to do so yeah that's good this top bit here 
uh, was stolen from a Chinese wind turbine uh, that had melted away after abuse. You can see I had to make a this thing to go on top and I used these levels to level up the tower. It's quite an easy way of doing it. So yeah, I thought you'd like to see everything in close up and then it makes it a bit easier to explain. The blade hub is, is getting rusty and needs painting. Just gonna go around the front. Yeah, the blade hub I totally made, that's uh, totally handmade. It uses a second hand bearing that I had in the middle, which has a 25 mil ID. And then I just welded on three heavy duty plates and the blades are connected to that. The blades are 1.4 meters long, fiberglass, and I got them from China. I do need to uh, try and find the suppliers name so I can buy some more. Woo! Warp speed! That's not really warp speed but it's going pretty fast anyway. Final thing. Final thing. No, I think that pretty much explains everything. With regards to... Hang on. So the top sprocket is 28 tooth. That can be changed for something else. I, I've made it so it's tightened on via a a bolt that goes actually into the drive shaft uh, so therefore it can't come off and the that's going now and the gear wheel on the front of the motor hub that is also changeable so I can use any different gear ratios that I want uh, it's obviously a bit of work taking it down and changing them but there'll, there'll be a video about those that soon because I do have uh, another gear if I want to replace it. So yeah, that's the close-up of the design. Uh, hope you like it. The tower's 20 foot, all homemade. Uh, I've had people comment saying it's got way too many guide wires on it, but I don't think so myself. You know, the more, the merrier. And yes, so I hope that's answered any questions that people have about the turbine, and I'll see you very soon. Sweet!